with without pillow talk welcome back to pillow talk monday hey guys this is monday and it's pillow talk your glasses match your san francisco 49ers i coordinated shirt Sarah's getting ready for fall, which is my favorite season of <laughs> all of them. All right, on this episode of Pillow Talk, Adriana and I, we were talking. Or we were just looking at photos of girls. Because we don't talk. Let's be real. And we got in a little bit of an argument on do women look better with or without glasses? So we're going to play a game where we're going to show a picture of a woman and then we're going to show you a picture of her with glasses on and then without glasses on. And it's a really great game because, like, we're not taking into account their personality or their intelligence. And it's just based on looks. And I think women really like that when you <laughs> judge them based on their looks. So that's what we're going to do today on Pillow Talk. Sarah and I both wear glasses, and we were at VidCon, and we met some people from GlassesUSA.com. It was when we got there. We first arrived at VidCon, and we're like, swag! <laughs> so we were just walking around, and we walked into the Glasses USA lounge and just started trying on... Glasses. I made a whole Instagram story about it. You did. So we're gonna we're collaborating with them on this video to show you some of the amazing glasses. I actually got these ones. And this is their brand. This is their brand. Yeah. It looks really good. These are Persols, um, but they also have like Ray-Ban and Oakley's and like Adidas, I think. They have a bunch. And then you guys can vote like which pair of glasses we look best in. And then that will be the be pair that we wear because we are so insecure yes we need you guys to tell us what looks good on us and be as judgy as you can who are you wearing adriana i don't know sarah that's why you're gonna put them at the bottom of the screen <laughs> i also don't think i can pronounce this brand i think it's like auto toto toto to. but so these are the same ones that i were just wearing but in black, black. <laughs> how glassesusa.com works is everything is online and it's like ridiculously cheap compared to when you go into an actual eyeglass store and you it's pay true. a bazillion dollars for eyeglasses mm -hmm. and so if some of you are like well how can i order things online if I can't try them on, they have a virtual try-on tool that you can use. Yes. And you, like, you upload, upload a photo. A yeah, a photo of yourself. And then you can like virtually try on the glasses. And it worked. Because these ones are pretty good. No, yeah. You look good. These I was just... You just went for it. I just went for it. I look very studious, I think, in these. And they also have sunglasses, too. I also think the bigger the sunglasses, the more, like, of a celebrity you are. Definitely. I also feel like, though, give me those. Like, I always see, like, Kate Blanchett wears like, sunglasses that are, like, this big. Yeah, give me those. I think those are better suited for my face. You put these ones on. Yes. Yes. These are them. Now, you are more famous than I am. Mm, so famous, because I don't want to show any of my face. GlassesUSA.com has also made these like Pride Edition Ooh. sunglasses and glasses. This is the rainbow flag of gayness. They feel so smooth going on. Oh, they do. Oh my god, they do. <laughs> you kind of look like Robin Wright in those glasses. Shut up. Oh my god, you do. It's the haircut. For real, though. And I look like the Terminator. <laughs> Um, so for every pair of these rainbow glasses or sunglasses that you guys buy, Glasses USA is going to donate $5 to the Trevor Project, which is amazing. And if you sign up, uh, you can get 50% off your first pair of their home brand glasses and mm -hmm. free shipping, which is the best. Can I say, as a yeah. cheap person, when I have to pay for shipping, I can be you like, I don't even want it anymore. I'm like, I'm spending $8,000 on a couch, but I gotta spend $50 on shipping it. No. Cancel. Cancel. Okay, let's get into this game. Uh yeah, time for the ladies. The ladies. All and right. I tried to, I tried to find images where they kind of look similar in them, because you can't have like a picture, you know, in Kate with lingerie and then Kate at a press conference or something. Kate Blanchett with glasses, without Ooh. glasses. Ooh. This is difficult because um, every, this woman is very attractive. If I, are we judging it based on the person or based on these pictures specifically? No, on the person. Person with glasses, person without glasses. I'm saying Kate Blanchett without glasses. I would also say Kate Blanchett without glasses. All right, next is Ellen Page. Okay, not these glasses. <laughs> <laughs> also, not that haircut. You tried to pick where they look. I tried. It was hard, Sarah. It's I'm going to say without glasses for Ellen Page. Because she has a really cute face. And I don't think yeah. she needs to hide her face. Even though sometimes it just, like, accents it nicely. I feel like 
glasses work on Ellen Page. Okay. But I'm real, I'm real thrown off by this pair. <laughs> but I'm going to say with glasses. Okay. Okay, Evan Rachel Wood. Wow. With glasses. You know what? <laughs> I really didn't pick a similar one for this When we one. started with Kate Blanchett and you said you tried to make them similar, I was like, oh, okay. And they literally just keep getting... Do you know how hard it was to find a picture of Evan Rachel Wood with glasses on, though? I think she looks good with glasses. I'm going with glasses. I'm also going to go with glasses. I mean, if, she's... If this is the only picture you could find, Evan Rachel Wood should start wearing glasses more often. I think, I agree. Also, it was very difficult to find a picture of Frida Pinto with glasses, so... These ones are not similar. <laughs> and she's just so attractive. Look, she doesn't have any makeup on in her glasses on, and she just got off an airplane, yeah. which I... I mean, I look like trash always, but when I'm off an airplane... I'm gonna go without. Without clap. And it's hard glasses. though, because she's so. Good. Yeah, I mean. So this is a bad picture to compare it with. Okay, ready? Here oh we go. Oh my god. Gal got it. Ugh. With or without? With, with glasses. glasses! Oh my god. Right? Can she play Superman? She should just play every superhero. Why do we need anyone yeah. else? No. Gal got it for everything. Jennifer Beals, aka. Bet Porter. Again, this, uh, like, one photo is, she's very, like, photoshopped or airbrushed. Yeah. And the other, she's just having popcorn. But I feel like Bet Porter needs glasses. I, I'm, I'm also trying, it's, I'm having a hard time separating Jennifer Beals from Bet Porter, but I, yeah. I feel like I would pick her with glasses. I think with glasses is the answer. With. With. Everyone's fave, Kristen Stewart. I'd say I feel like these ones are kind of similar. One's a black and white. Yeah, but. okay. I would say without glasses because usually Kristen Stewart's eye makeup is so yeah. on point that I think the glasses, like, hides that. And you know what? I have to say yes to both because it's Kristen Stewart. <laughs> Laverne Cox. Who's, who, like, doing some secret project with Beyonce right now. Like, uh, who is she? Taking over the world. Oh. What's happening? I think Laverne Cox Man. looks really good with glasses. That's a good pair of glasses, too. Yeah. Like See, Laverne Cox knows how to get glasses. Yeah, lesbians Knows how to pick glasses. Not. No, lesbians cannot pick glasses. I don't know if I've ever seen Laverne Cox with glasses other than this photo. But based on the photos, I'm going to say with glasses. Yeah, she looks she really good. She pulls it off. All right. Sarah's fame, Lucy Lawless. Also, um, I did not choose pictures that look the same with <laughs> Lucy Lawless because I needed to show this picture of Lucy Lawless. Without glasses! <laughs> These pictures are taken 20 years apart. Yeah, it's true. Um, her hair is not the same. One is a professional photo. <laughs> One is a screenshot from when she did a live stream. If anyone says with glasses, I'm going to uh, question their judgment. <laughs> and last one is Samir Wiley. Also, oh. I love this picture of Samir Wiley that looks like it's taken <laughs> from like a bank portfolio <laughs> brochure or something. Is this a headshot? I don't know what it is. I think these glasses look good mm. on her. I I'm think gonna go with with glasses. I think it's uh, it's also hard to tell because of the photos I've chosen. But I feel like she looks older with glasses, and she looks like a little cute baby face without glasses. I'm gonna say without glasses. Mm. Maybe because I'm so used to also seeing her without glasses and everything. Maybe I'm I'm totally digging the glasses. Digging the glasses. I think with like the very short mm. hair, the glasses look good. We hope you guys played along in the comments. Thank you guys for watching Pillow Talk Monday. We'll see you next Monday. This week on Pillow Talk, we are talking about something that baby dykes do, oh. and then you stop doing it. It's um, going to the club, if they exist anymore. Mm. They don't in Toronto.